Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this Bat Ears McGee. I woke Bat Ears up and put him into my pocket so I could do sound checks and stuff, and now he's been, oh, chewing on my fingers because I put lotion on my hands. Well, so I could put lotion on my feet, and he's licking and chewing on my fingers because of the lotion. <laughs> he's a silly goose. I'm going to put him in his cage so he can go back to sleep. There you go, little guy. Now, of the two cages I have next to me, one of them, the bottom one, has Little Squeak Jr. in it. That high-pitched squeaking sound is the sound of her wheel. And she's not running on it, because I don't know that she can run, like, full speed right now. But she's walking on it and waddling away, so she's exercising. She kind of smells a little funny. I don't know that she's able to clean herself like she used to and should be able to. So she smells kind of plasticky. I was sniffing her because I wanted to see if she was healthy. And your, your sinuses can tell you things. And so I was sniffing her and she has kind of a plasticky smell to her. And it's not a really healthy kind of plasticky smell. So the damage to her body because of her spinal damage may be worse than I thought. I, it's obviously not killing her because she's running on her wheel. Or if it is killing her, it's killing her very slowly. Because she's still active and still digging around and running on her wheel and eating. So but she's just got that weird plasticky smell to her. I'll keep you informed, of course, and tomorrow, through rotation, it should be her day in the barrel, and I'll be able to show her off up here so you'll be able to see her, like you got to see Bat Ears McGee today. So that'll be good. I mean, she's still doing fine. She's eating and wandering. She digs on stuff. She plays on her stuff. She chews on things. She's doing great. It's just she can't move as quickly as she did before, and she doesn't run real fast. So, at least she's doing good. All my other little hammies are doing well. Bobo Jr.'s got all of his fur still. He's an absolute dust mop, and Mama Squeak was on a rampage yesterday. I had her downstairs for a little while. She was very active. <laughs> All of my hamsters I have to keep very, very close eyes on because when they're on my chair with me, if they're not tucked down and going to sleep, they're very active. And if they get a path going, like they want to jump off one part of the chair, it doesn't matter where you set them back down, they're just going to go hop and then make a run for that. And so you always have to be ready to snag them right on the edge of the chair as they try to make a jump. Well, she was pretty active that way. She was very wild, so. It's a good thing, though. I'd rather have happy, friendly, active little beasts than, well, lumps that don't do anything. On the other hand, I don't want them to be too active, which is, hmm, that was a big whistle, which if you have a dwarf hamster, oh boy, they're, I don't really like gerbils, because they're too active. I used to have gerbils. In fact, I had gerbils before I got hamsters. And I just had a couple of them and just for a little while and then I got a hamster and I went, this is the rodent for me. But until that time, I had a couple gerbils and they were fine, but they're always, 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 always on. There's, you know, a Syrian hamster has, you know, several speeds. You know, slow and derpy and fast and scurrying. And then they've got lots of settings. And gerbils are basically on or off. And when they're on, it's they don't slow down. And so they're not really the rodent for me. Dwarf hamsters are kind of gerbil-like that way. I mean, they're absolutely cute. They're obviously hamsters. I mean, the little stubby tail and then just the shape of them and the way they scurry and pancake out. You can tell they're all, they're cousins. The, from the Chinese to the robos and the, the, all of, 
I don't know the various types. There's like the Campbell Dwarves, and there's a lot of various. There's only, really only like two or three main species, but then there's the sub things, and it gets crazy. But even though they're hamsters, they're just too little too gerbil like for me, a little too active. It is nice that you can keep dwarves in quote unquote colonies. They don't have to be separated like Syrians do. Because a Syrian hamster, as soon as they get like eight weeks old or so, you're really on the edge. You can still have them together, sort of, at that point. But they need to be separated very quickly because as soon as they reach sexual maturity, boom, that's it. They're solitary. If you put them in with another one, they may tolerate each other for a short period of time, but they will fight to kill. And so it's, it, that's why each one of these little guys is separate and they will always be separate except if they're in the few times when decided needed babies. Or like in Mama Squeak's case, she decided she needed to make babies. She was in heat, managed to get out of one of her cages and into a bin cage with another male hamster. And then, well, I've got little... Little Squeak Jr. is Mama Squeak's little baby, so definitely a thumbs up. They're all very active and very happy that way. I can't remember exactly what I was talking about now. Oh, I got fibroed on that one. I know I was talking about hamsters. Oh, why was I talking about hamsters? I can't even remember now. I think I was talking about dwarf hamsters? Well, for whatever reason, I was talking about hamsters because today also is the day that I should be getting the bins so I can start getting these guys into bin cages. Now, you won't be able to see them like they are now, you know, because the bins won't fit on chair seats, I believe. But, you know, if they do, then I may. But otherwise, they're going to have to be done separately and differently if uh, they're going to be out on display. Otherwise, they're going to have to, like, just place them over there because they're going to be big. It happens. But hopefully I'll get them cut up and able to have them displayed so that you can see them. Because I love my little hammies. I like to show them off. I'm just sad that that these are the very sad and pitiful little cages. So, thumbs up for that. Now, I'm not looking forward to the uh, possible attack of the housemates for a uh, lack of a better wording on that one and boy that's not very good wording for that one but it's the bins have to be delivered to the house and even though you can set up deliveries on your wish list through Amazon so that the only people who see the address are the people who ship the set things which is what's happening here we're having stuff sent to the house it's just they tend to freak out when stuff gets sent to the house and so I'm not looking forward to the face-to-face uh, -face confrontation with the stuff showing up because it's like it's a, the only people that know the address of when it was sent are the people that make the bins. So there's no horrific, uh, there even wouldn't be a horrific, but there's no betrayal of trust because somebody is sending bins to the house. And, but uh, it's going to be fun, I can tell. Every time I think, you know, it's going to be okay, it'll never be as bad as, as I, my, I imagine. It's always twice as bad as I ever thought it could be. <laughs> so I'm not building up anything to try and be dramatic here. This is, quite honestly, I, I fear what's going to happen. Thumbs up. Such is life. And of course, I want to mention again, because otherwise no one knows about it if I don't mention it. But if you type in the phrase, what was the phrase that pays? What was the phrase that pays? I can't remember the phrase I was using. Well, there's a, there's for Killing Floor 2 is the game right down there. I'm going to in post <laughs> the phrase that you type in the comments is up here. Because I've forgotten what it is right now. But you type in this phrase into the comments, you'll go into the pool. And on Sunday, we're going to generate a random number. I'm going to go through the pool of people who have typed in that phrase. And whoever the random number generator lands on, that's who's going to win the key. So thumbs up on that. I don't think... 
I'm not sure if I've been contacted by whoever won the uh, Pillars of Eternity key, was it? I, can't, I honestly can't even, re even remember the last key I gave out, but I do not remember if the person contacted me or not. If you haven't contacted me, of course, please do go back out to Sunday, listen and find out if you were the winner. And if you are and you haven't contacted me, contact me and I'll send you the key. Hopefully I have. I honestly can't remember. I am badly fibro fogged right now. I've been up since approximately 5 a.m. Pain woke me. Yay. It's the way it is every day. I never know what's going to hurt and what's going to wake me up. But I've been up since five, and because I don't sleep well and long, I'm no ideas what's been going on. I've been reading things online. I've read through, oh, let me dig through my eye first. Don't ever do this to your eye. If you've got something on your eye, something sharp, and you do that, it's going to scratch the surface of your eye because it's something sharp being dragged between your eyelid and your eye. So don't don't do what I just did. But sorry about that. What was I talking about? I can't even remember. I'm bad. Uh, yeah, it's. I was talking about fibro fog, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm badly fibro fog today. But it's every day because of my poor sleep. So thumbs up on that. There's w there's restful sleep is when your body actually heals. Sleep without being restful sleep is not recharging your batteries. It's the difference between having your cell phone turned off so that it's got just the trickle charge keeping the machine and innards all going while it charges the battery for restful sleep when you wake up your phone's fully charged and ready to go and the difference with non-restful sleep being you got your phone plugged in while it's busy downloading stuff using Wi-Fi it's got a couple apps running sure it's charging overnight but it's working and when you get up after eight hours it's still only at 75 percent charge it hasn't gotten fully charged after all that that's non-restful sleep. And that's usually what I end up getting because of pain. So yay on that. Definite thumbs up. So yeah, I'm badly fibro fogged. And last night, oh my God. After I made my videos and while waiting for my game video to render, my housemate said that they needed to go out and asked me to go with them. And I'd like to get out of the house and it's been raining so I haven't been walking much. So we went for a drive went to Olympia, came back, and when we came back, I started to fall asleep in my recliner downstairs. Badly. And then we had actually had dinner, and I had, had a bowl full of Chili Mac. So I had a full belly, and I was already feeling tired, and it was really warm because we were afraid of the power going out, so we were getting it warm, so if the power went out, it would stay warm. And so I just fell asleep in my recliner till almost nine o'clock last night and then came up here so that I wouldn't just be falling asleep and proceeded to fall asleep in this chair for hours. When I finally went to bed last night hurting because I was just falling and sleep dragging my neck forward, which that's probably why I got such a bad headache like I have today because my neck has been yeah, it's a tension headache. I can feel it when I lean my head forward. I can feel it in my neck pulling all the way up and that's it just throbbing. Oh, that's where my headache is. Yay. So I'm just not sleeping well and yesterday I didn't be I didn't get anything at all done. But none of it was restful sleep. Sure it was sleep, but I don't hit anywhere close to a full charge. But now what we're going to do is I have opened up, I hope I have, have I opened up my community tab on Chrome? Why yes I have, but I have not opened up 24 hours yet. I'm opening up 24 hours worth of comments on my channel so that I can go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I would just like to thank you all. It is a very, very nice thing. I do appreciate everybody who has left me any comments in the slightest. Now, I'm not reading the comments yet, 
I'm going to go through and read the comments, answer as many as I can, thumbs up all of those that I do read, and I'm going to do all that. But right now, just to get it done, <laughs> I am just thanking you for having left me a comment. A good comment, a bad comment, and a different comment. They're all equal in my eyes, getting out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. Thank you very, very much. It is greatly appreciated. Now, it's a range of 20 to 25 because I... With my fibro, I get lost. I have heard myself count while editing, going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 12, 13. So it's not wonderful. Am I still centered? Good deal. I am. I am definitely neurotic about that. And if I mispronounce your name, no disrespect is intended. I am terrible at names. I'm an American English speaker. We're not good at names. But if I get close, I hope I'm doing good. So we go. Uh, Juice Boogie, thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Jason Malone, thank you very, very much. Hasaton, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Uh, United Front, thank you very, very much. And there is Shauna Vane, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Hachikuji, thank you very, very much. And Manan Purohit, I sure hope I'm close, but I think I'm not. Thank you very, very much. It is appreciated. Invictus Horror, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Mateus Bulcher, greatly appreciated. Always good to see you in the comments. It's a good thing after all this time. I really enjoy seeing your name. And <laughs> Nukem Dukem, thank you very, very much. Max G, thank you. Greatly appreciated. Fallen Angel 8X, good to see you. Ma Michelle, thank you very, very much. Red Salmon, thank you. Greatly appreciated. Timo, thank you. Thumbs up on that. Shadow, three W's, shadow with three W's at the end. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Flowy Plays, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Ele Electric, I am very sorry. My rental tongue this morning. Electrix Garden, thank you very, very much. Oops Music, <laughs> heck of a name. Beans a Bean, thank you, greatly appreciated. Nothing Dog, thank you, thumbs up on that. And then there is Demith, thank you, greatly appreciated. Gurren Logan, always good to see you in the comments, thank you very, very much. Adam Hare, thank you, greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Golden Ripper, thank you all very, very much, as stated, to get me out of my head, into the real world, dealing with actual people that's a good thing it's not a good landscape behind these eyes i am all of a sudden so dry i'm going to drink out of this gross looking glass my apologies mm. horrible horrible cotton mouth my sincere apologies well we've reached that point if you can check out my links, that would be very, very cool. I've got like Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google Plus, uh, and, and such like that. Yeah, so those are all those links. If you could check those out, I'm very sorry. My brain is failing me. If you could check those out, that would be very, very cool. My thanks to everybody who's donated to my GoFundMe campaign or become one of my Patreon.com patrons. You're all beautiful, awesome people. Thank you very much. It's because of you. I have a, fo a food over my roof. I have a roof over my head. Thank you very, very much. It is appreciated. I'd much rather be homed than homeless. I greatly appreciate that. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, that would be very awesome. But should, if you do not donate or you cannot donate, I take all good wishes, deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very, very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be cool. But I would understand if you don't want to. My personality has rubbed people wrong my entire life. So if you do not like my videos, I understand. If you don't want to subscribe to my channel, I understand. But if you are down with it, I'll do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of, well, my time anyway. And I turned 55 just last month and the average lifespan of an American man is 74 years. Got 19 summers left. Gonna hang on to them and spend them greedily. That doesn't make any sense at all. Anyway, I've got a ration video coming up. i got a game video coming up on this channel. Hopefully, if I don't fall asleep, I bet I will. i got at least a game channel 
I always say it that way. Game video for my game channel. Link down below if you can check that out. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. Keep smiling, my friend, because it can always get worse, though it doesn't have to. There's no guarantee of that.